Lately, it seems I am more nurse than priestess, tending to those who have suffered both in mind and body from this terrible war. Somewhat, yes. At first, it seemed a distant thing, heard only in the idle speech of guards and traders. When the wounded soldiers began to return from battle, I did what I could to help them. As more of the sick and injured came to the temple, my work as a healer became more important than my duties as a priestess. I wish only an end to the fighting, so that I can tend to the temple once more. In honor of your service in battle, I am hereby granting you permission to purchase property in Whiterun. Talk to my steward if you're interested. You're not as dumb as you look. Well, first and foremost, there's repairs to make and wounds to heal. Folks are depending on us getting the city back in working order. Once things settle down, I'll be looking to recruit more guards for the city than shore up our stores of food and water. The Empire might try and take the city back, or worse, we'll get a visit from a dragon. We've got to be ready for both. Aye, with a certainty. It was Talos that helped us win back the city. I'm as sure of that as the sun rising in the morning. Might even build a new temple and put Heimsker in charge of it. <laughs> I bet he'd like that. When the Stormcloaks took control of Whiterun, it was a victory for all true Nords. If I said that was a tedious question, would you be smart enough to know what I meant? Probably not. As long as I'm left alone to pursue my research, I don't care who gives the orders. Now, I'm a busy man, and your pointless questions are boring me terribly. Good day. I hope the Empire is sending reinforcements to drive these heathens out of White Run. Of course they have. I've made no secret of my loyalty to the Empire. I'm no coward. Twice I've been robbed, and good luck getting any kind of justice from Vignar now that he is the Jarl. He probably told the storm close to do it. Lately, they've been threatening to send my whole family into exile if we're caught collaborating with the Empire. They think we're spies. Well, needless to say, these rebels and I have no love for each other. Well, the Stormcloak guards drink a lot more than the Imperials did, so I've been making more money lately. On the other hand, they're a violent bunch. Every night the fight breaks out, and I end up with a smashed chair or broken table. So, not much has changed, really. Oh, there was- There was a great battle here in Whiterun. It was quite thrilling. I must compose a song about it someday. You look rather... These Stormcloaks are ridiculous. They won't shop here because they think I'll sell them poisoned tonics. I should just go back to Cyrodiil. Vignar and I have our hands full. It's no small task running an entire hold. Well, it could be worse. The former steward, Proventus, kept very detailed records. But yes, it's been a lot of work. Vignar doesn't want the change to disrupt the lives of his people. You've got enough to deal with already. Pleased enough, I suppose. At least they appreciate the ways and traditions of the Nord people. Can't say I ever much liked the idea of the Empire telling us what to do and how to do it. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torik. Now it would seem Ulfric has his wish, and there truly is no justice in the world. No, although it's true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow, I am in no position to claim such a title. Ulfric's Stormcloak is victorious, and the Jarls have fallen in line. It seems I will never take my rightful place as High Queen. Well... By rights, 
She had a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But now, Skyrim is at Ulfric's mercy. The Moot will meet and choose Ulfric as High King. With his troops in most of the cities, they have little choice. Because killing her would yield no political advantage. By leaving Elisif alive, Ulfric completes the separation of the Empire and Skyrim. With Ulfric's troops here, Elisif will be forced to support his bid for High King. He secures the position and appears above reproach. What's more, Ulfric's refusal to execute his slain enemy's wife will be portrayed as the ultimate act of compassion. <laughs> it's genius, really. Wanderer like you must have pla- When the Stormcloaks took solitude, I thought for sure things would slow down. But they keep me just as busy as the Imperials. These days, I, most of what I make is for folk like you. There's still Imperial camps to be cleaned up, as you know. And that takes arms and armor. <laughs> there are so many delightful ways I've pictured you dead. Needs. And what might you need, hmm? I hope monsters come and eat you. Father says I'm too young to train with the sword, so I practice with my fists. Hope this war lasts long enough that I get to fight in it. Battle! Glory! You're not from around here. I bet you're here to help with the war. Yes? Just looking at you makes me upset. I can't believe we lost Markarth. Igman's family has ruled there for generations. I don't think we have anything to discuss, Stormcloak. Well, hello. Hmm? Yes? You're mean. I hate you. I hate you forever and ever and ever. Yes? Hmm? Hmm? Dark times indeed. I fear the worst for Morthal and my people. Here to shame an old woman? Leave me be. I try and take comfort in knowing that when all is lost, there is much to be gained. It is my hope that I will one day return to the Almarch, but the Divines have not shown this to me. Need something? The only grown-ups who talk to me are the kind I don't want talking to me. Have I done something to make you bother me? Need something? You have something to say, dog? Igmund is alive, and I'll keep it that way, Jarl or not. You lay one finger on Igmund, and I'll end you, Stormcloak. Yes? I don't like talking to someone who holds their honor so cheaply. We're safe here now, but what of Morthal? The Empire brought stability, assurance to the people of Morthal, even if they didn't appreciate it. Now what do they have? I fear for what this change will do to my family. Out with it. Out with... yes? Morthal doesn't need any trouble. You keep your nose clean, understand? What do you want, milk drinker? Leave Idgrid and her family alone. They've been through enough. This wasn't what I wanted. Not at all. All that ever mattered was what was best for Morthal. Leaving it in Ulfric's hands. It's not right. I'm just here to protect the Jarl, not to chat. Morthal has enough problems without you bothering me. I'm under a lot of pressure. If you don't leave me alone, I won't be held responsible. Need something? Sidgir can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvert and I. Yes? I hope the Wilds claim you one of these days. For Falkreath and I, this is just one more yes? war in a long line. Sitgear can sometimes act too quickly, but he does listen to Helvard and I. Need something? For Falkreath and I, this is just one more war in a long line. Yeah? After Whiterun is retaken, 
Ulfric will pay in blood for his insolence. Be warned. The Jarl is in a foul mood since the Stormcloaks overran Whiterun. Need until something? next time. Yes? Mm -hmm. What is it that you want? Something you need, you miserable wretch. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taken to fight to the Stormcloaks. I don't suppose it matters much anymore. As long as Elfric wishes Elisif to remain Jarl, remain Jarl she will, and the Thanes will continue to follow her orders. As long as those orders came from Ulfric. Got some good pieces out. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Jorland Greymane's got that honor. Well, not a great deal, no. But I do less business than I used to. The Stormcloaks don't like buying from anyone that isn't a Nord. If I wasn't married to Ulfberth, I'd be out of business. Vigner the Revered is the Jarl in Whiterun. I guess he was a great hero once, because the companions all call him Vigner the Revered. Is Vigner too old to be Jarl? It's a fair question. If he's grown infirm and is losing his wits, where does that leave the people of Whiterun? I'm sure my brother Vignar is, since they made him Jarl after throwing Baldruf out. Comes the end of the day, Imperials and Stormcloaks ain't that much different. Both sides want to tell you how you should live your life. Guess I'd rather hear it from a real Nord than some Emperor down south. Leads me to hear you the Imperials were weak. They created this Forsworn problem. But now that we're in charge, we'll solve it. Once the war is over, I'll petition Ulfric to send the militia, and we'll cleanse the reach of this menace. Then the Forsworn will be where they belong, in the mines, bringing us wealth. Ha! <laughs> Ulfric's put me in charge of keeping an eye on the new Jarls, you know. Make sure they're generally following orders. Can't say I'm looking forward to that. But I will also be training men and women for their new armies. The Empire might send over a few legionnaires to make sure we're serious. And of course, we'll be taking the fight to the elves soon enough. We'll need trained, disciplined, and creative warriors ready for all that. There will be peace for a time, during which we must rebuild Skyrim into the land it once was. Strong, self-reliant. The center of mankind. Because getting rid of the Empire was only half the problem. Soon the Elves will again seek to rule the world. We must ready ourselves to fight them. For it will be Skyrim that shall lead Tamriel in those dark days, when the fate of the world is finally determined. No, not yet. We'll wait for the Moot to name me High King. It'll be better for all that way. But, that doesn't mean I won't start acting like it. There's much to do. The new Jarls need help building armies, and enforcing their right to rule. The Empire may try to reclaim Skyrim, and I need everyone ready for that. Though the biggest threat, of course, is the Elves.